These are not clothes, not even really high tech clothes. This is a one person, human shaped spacecraft. But not all spacesuits are the same. There are a few big buckets you should know. One is what's called launch and entry suits. And the other one is what I would call EVA suits or extravehicular activity suits. And that's the suit that we're working on here. They're essentially high altitude suits such that if your vehicle experiences a problem and loses its ability to control the atmosphere of the vehicle, those suits become an atmosphere for you and allow you to at least re-enter to get back to Earth safely. Space suits began in this launch and entry bucket. So when you go back and look at the Mercury program, really what they were dealing with is these high altitude suits that protected you in case your, your cabin lost pressure or something like that. It's kind of like being on an airplane. They tell you like, hey, with your, you know, your mask will come down if we lose air pressure, and that's to give you oxygen. The difference with space flight is you're so high, not only do you need oxygen, you also need a suit to keep, keep the pressure on your body, right? But as humans did more in space, we needed suits that could do more too. The kind of extravehicular activity suit that NASA uses is called the extravehicular extra mobility unit, or the EMU. Those are ones where you're outside extravehicular, right? You're on the surface of the moon or you're floating in low Earth orbit, and those suits are the ones that let you go out and explore into space. Some EMUs allow astronauts to walk on the surface like this, and some are are just for zero gravity. Spacewalks, like this. But until now, an EMU has been basically impossible to fix in space, which is a problem if we want to live there. That suit was originally designed for these 14-day missions of flying up, coming down, being refurbished, flying up, coming down, being refurbished. This is different than that. We've designed this suit from the ground up, from the very beginning, to be maintained on orbit or on missions. It's much more sustainable in terms of helping spaceflight um, costs come down over time so that more people can access space. The goal is to bring down the cost of getting the suits to space and also the cost of the spacesuits themselves. The NASA suits from the 1970s were each reported to cost about 150 million in today's dollars. 